Hi, this is Kevin for Sonovert.com. In this video, we are going to be reducing hiss in an audio recording. So I've got a recording here of a very, very old radio show. It's got lots of hiss and crackle and pop. Let's give it a play and you'll see what we're talking about. If those two hadn't been stupid, they might be breathing now. You're not stupid. That's why I'm talking to you. Now, just a couple of points there. You notice perhaps that the audio noise was coming in at around minus 36 decibels up here, which is pretty loud. The quiet parts of the spoken word was only about 12 decibels louder than that. So we're going to have to be really careful that we don't trash the vocals whilst we're affecting the noise. I've already applied some noise reduction and gone about as far as I dared to go. I now just want to tackle that really bright hiss, which you'll hear a lot better if you're listening to, to this on headphones. I'm going to select an area and we'll apply an effect, TDR Nova. I'm going to use TDR Nova because it is quite a delight to use, but you can use whichever software you want to use or you can use the built-in uh, equalization effect in Audacity. I'm using the three band dynamics, which gives us access to three options for reducing the or increasing the EQs. I'm going to focus on reducing the EQs around 5K and above, and I'm really going to drag it down. And what we'll do is give it a play, and halfway through, I'm going to release it so you can hear the difference. If those two hadn't been stupid, they might be breathing now. You're not stupid. If those two hadn't been stupid, they might be breathing now. You're not stupid. So hopefully you can hear that there's a huge difference between the effect applied and the original. I don't want it to be too harsh, so I'm going to pull it back a fair amount and we'll apply this. And then we'll move on to the next step. So the next step is to apply the noise gate or more appropriately, the multiband expander. A noise gate, I don't think would work very well here. So we've got the multiband expander and we're going to focus on the high frequency areas. So we've got high, mid high, low mid, and I don't think we're going to be going way down here to the bass area. What I want to do is to just play it and listen to how it sounds as we change the floor. If those two hadn't been stupid, they might be breathing now. Okay, so you might notice that we need to really increase the floor on the low mid. So I'm going to take that actually up to almost the full amount for the floor. And I'm going to increase the floor for the mid until it's about halfway. And we'll play again. If those two hadn't been stupid, they might be breathing now. You're not stupid. Now, I'm tempted to stop there, but I just want to bring back a little bit of the crystal clarity right at the upper end of the spectrum. So I'm just going to increase the floor for the high and we'll try again. If those two hadn't been stupid, they might be breathing now. You're not stupid. And we'll apply that. The important thing to notice there is that the speech, the quiet speech has been reduced quite a lot, but we haven't eliminated it. You can still hear it. And what I'll do now is switch off the selection and I'll play it from just before to just after. And you can really hear the difference of those two effects. That's what people are, stupid. If those two hadn't been stupid, they might be breathing now. You're not stupid. That's why I'm talking to you. So as you can see there, we have a huge effect. I'm not sure I'd want to go that hard, but I felt I needed to go really hard to demonstrate the impact of those two filters. We've not lost the speech, but maybe want to pull back on both the EQs and the multiband expander 
just to allow a bit more of the vocal resonance to come through. So that's basically it for this video. I hope you found some of that useful. If you did, hit the like button, share the video, subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.